Yo, what's good, my little pack? Alpha oh, the pack right here. And today in this video, man, I'm gonna be doing a review of Eden Zero, chapter 125, Heart of Gravity. All right. So, yo, look, bro. This chapter, it, it was a lot. Yeah, okay, it, it was a lot. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cover everything, okay? But it, it was a lot. So if I forget something, I'll put it in the description. But I love this chapter. This chapter was hot, dog. And the ending, I can't wait to get to that. But I, I, I gotta go through everything first. But that Nick, dog, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I can't wait to see what happens with my boy Shiki, man. I'm all for um, a training arc for Shiki. I, I can't wait. But um, chapter starts off. Um, Laguna, Jen, and Moscow are um, still busy taking out the the aerial machines, the machines that are giving Eden zero trouble. Um, Colleen, her mental state is declining. She's she's freaking out, claiming that someone someone's bad, someone bad is approaching, someone bad is coming. Now, when she first said that, I believed it was B Squad number, what was it, B Squad number one? Or B Squad six? I, I don't remember, but when she first said that, I thought it was one of the B Squads that she was talking about. But since they were just completely annihilated by just this crew, I'm thinking, could it be Poseidon Nero? Maybe sure. It sounds kind of out there, but I don't really see who else it would be besides one of those two. Um, it could be someone else, but I'm leaning towards either Shura or Nero, even though it may be too soon for uh, Nero to show up. But I wouldn't be mad at it if he does. <laughs> um, but since Colleen's mental state is declining and she's freaking out on a battle of Jin context, which and sister and tells them that they're coming back because Colleen can't function. And it's then that Witch ask ask Laguna to go to the server where to the, to go to the server where Hermit and Wise are because she can't get into contact with them. And Sister orders Moscow to clear out the remaining machines that are giving them trouble. All right. So we cut through. We cut to um, the server and. Herman is shaking. She she's freaking out in the presence of Dr. Mueller. She's just so traumatized by this bastard that she can't she can't function normally. And Mueller just has his, his creepy little tentacle machine robot things wrapped around wise, talking about how he's gonna destroy the young brain of of the older Professor Wise. And while he's going on this little tension, Wise, Wise, uh, he equips Arsenal and just knees him in the face, <laughs> sends him flying, and he then proceeds to go talk to Harmon and bring her to her senses. He tells her that she doesn't need to be afraid, that everything is going to be fine, that she has a friend right in front of her, and that's enough to, you know, get Harmon back to her normal self somewhat. She's, she's, she's slowly regaining her, um, her will to move, you know what I'm saying, and Mueller, this bastard, just goes on a tangent about how he won't let them interfere, how he won't let them stop him, and um, he then act he didn't activates this device that um, makes the machines go on even more so of a rampage, so now the machines, they're not just enslaving the humans they're they're full on they're full on killing the humans it's full on genocide mode he the device just put the robots on first them to full on rage mode and they're just slaughtering all of the remaining humans on the planet well, I mean we've seen them just getting getting blasted through the, through the chest through the stomach gruesome stuff I'm not gonna lie I, I, I was under the impression that when all this was over that some of the at least a very small percentage of the humans will still be left alive. But it looks like there's going to be no living inhabitants on Forza when this is all over. Uh, crazy, crazy situation, right? So, we're, we cut back to on on the surface, on Forza, and we see Happy, Pino, and Rebecca, you know, hiding out in some bushes. And Rebecca says that she thought she'll be able to go through, go through the town 
of opportunities to be a pet like last time, but then they witness the robots just full on slaughtering people. And as a, a little girl was running away, she sees a robot getting ready to getting ready to shoot her. So Happy turns the guns, she activates her ether gear, and she rushes over towards the little girl and just blasts the robot in the face. All right, and then a bunch of other robots just starts to swarm on Rebecca and Happy, and that's when Pino she activates her EMP and shuts them down, and they proceed to get the little girl to safety. And then we cut to Elsie and Justice, who are just clashing throughout the skies of Forest, utilizing their um, <laughs> what was it? Their ether gear, their flying powers. They they have so many different use of combats I'm trying to remember them all but Elsie and Justice are still combating each other flying through the skies even though they just literally quite in quite literally impaled each other with their blades <laughs> I like how they're still just flying around just completely just throwing hands with each other and while they're doing that we have some of those those hovering those flying robot machines they they find them due to their large abundance of ether and they said they were going to eliminate them, <laughs> but Elsie and Justice, they were just like, nope, and they just destroyed all of them, just like crushed them, and just <laughs> continued on with their fight, and decided to throw their, um, uh, what's, what's the attack called? Pa pass your judgment, leave your mark, uh, Grand Chariot. They, they both utilized Grand Chariot on each other, right? And then, while they're duking him out, we, we cut to Shiki, who's injured and beaten before this mysterious robot, this mysterious machine being that's standing before him. And we find out that this machine is Xenolith, all right? The master of Ziggy, the founder of the Meji Mech Gravity Arts School of Martial Arts. That's a mouthful, all right? And... He, he, bro, there was such a beautiful shot, uh, such a beautiful moment in a manga where he was all like, these machines are being too noisy. And he, and he uses Meji Mech Attack Gravity Center and it, it affects the whole planet. He brings everybody to their knees. The machines, Justice's crew, uh, uh, the, rob uh, the, the robots, the Eden Zero crew, even the ship witch and sister who are flying in the air in Eden Zero, they feel the full force of this attack. <laughs> They're being brought to their knees. But this attack covered the whole planet, and it looked like it even put a hole, a hole went through the planet. Dog, the sheer force of this attack was crazy. I got, I got hyped when I saw it. Oh my god. And as Dina Lake goes on to say that gravity transcends even concepts, it is the weight of the heart. It has the ability to have people's hearts fall inside you. He's, he's telling this Ashiki. It has the ability to have one's heart fall inside of you, and it has the ability to bring one girl from the future to, to here to you. And, bro... The chapter, the chapter basically, oh, and there was also this one scene where, um, it seems like he's healing Shiki's injury, and he's healing Shiki's injuries, and Shiki's all like, my pain is going away, am I healing? And, uh, Xenolith says, I made your pain lighter, you're, you're still injured, and I thought that was really cool. I, I'm, I really, bro, and also at the end of the chapter when Xenolith said that he was Ziggy's master, I was all like, bro, I, I can't wait. See, this is what had me hyped, dog. A training arc for Shiki. I can't wait to see how this goes. I can't wait to see how powerful my boy gets by the, well, probably not by the end of this arc, but the, the next upcoming arc, he's actually going to go through a training montage. I can't wait to see how powerful my boy gets. And because I felt so bad, man, seeing him, seeing him trying to fight justice and him realizing, seeing that he wasn't able to do anything. I mean, my man was, he just got, he was completely beaten and disrespected. Taking knees to the chin, punched in the back, 
smash New Mountains. My boy, he was completely disrespected. It was hard to watch. It was sad to see. So I'm I'm looking forward with with Xenolith. I'm seeing how how much more powerful my boy can get because this this is the man this is the master the one who started it all and he if he's gonna train Shiki I'm really I can't wait to see what kind of training goes down I'm really looking forward to it and the fact that this he like put a hole in a planet dog he he like it, it looks like he put a hole in a planet he's like sunk everything on the planet it was hot it was hype I really enjoyed this chapter, dog. I can't wait to see what comes from Xenia Lit training Shiki. Okay. Some people think it's too early for Shiki to get some to get like a training arc, but I'm all for it. I can't wait to see. Maybe he'll be able to even with this training, he'll be able to even um tap into his overdrive his his overdrive, his overdrive for a longer period of time. I would love that. I, oh, man, I, I, I'm getting hyped just thinking about it, dog. I, can, I can't wait to chapter 126. But, um, yeah, man, the the, cha the chapter basically ended with, Den with Xenolith saying that he was Ziggy's master. And, um, I wonder was, I wonder how Xenolith, is Xenolith going to join the crew in a battle against Ziggy? Or is he just going to train them? Shiki and peace out. I wonder how he feels about his former student going on a rampage throughout the cosmos. Surely he, surely he cares about Ziggy because that's his student. I wonder if there's, I wonder if there's other students. That there has to be other students since he he was like a founder of, of Gravity Martial Arts. There has to be other students. I wonder if we're gonna meet them. That'd be interesting. But I wonder how Xenolith feels about his former student just going on a rampage throughout the cosmos. Maybe we'll get a Xenolith versus Ziggy fight. That'd be kind of hot. That'd be kind of hot. I like. I, I want to see that. That'd be hot. But uh, all right. That's basically it, man. I really enjoyed this chapter. Can't wait to chapter 126. Y'all comment. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Did y'all enjoy this chapter? Like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.